Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today we're going to talk about... A Court of Wings and Ruin. So we've already talked about the first two books in mm -hmm. the Court of Thrones and Roses, Thorns. Kodar. Thorns and... They could be Thrones. Thorns and Roses series. And it's the second to last one. I've already read it, so we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Yep. We are. Yes. Whether you like it or not. We are. Because that's why you're here. That's exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, that that Feyre has come into her own. She's gotten all of this power. She's kind of figured out how to use it. And she's with her true mate. It, it's time to deal with this whole highburn jerk situation that's going to ruin the world. And this is a long story. It is long. This <laughs> is really long. They have a lot to do, a lot to wrap up. Now that you've read through the all three books. Who is your favorite character so far in the series? I, I kind of, I kind of like Nesta a whole lot more than I thought I, I would. I do too. Yeah. I also kind of feel for Lucian, a guy who has a lot more going on with him than than he even thinks about, who doesn't really fit in anywhere he goes, no matter how much he wants to fit in with each person. One of the great things about this book is that throughout the last couple of them, there are certain entities that you are told to be afraid of, that everybody here is supposed to run away from and not talk to and just don't do anything with them. And in the course of this book, she comes to wrestle with them. And that is one of her great powers, that she actually wrestles with the things that people fear and turns it against them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's a great story arc. And in fact, mm -hmm. I like this one better than I like the last one. Yeah, I actually really did like the third one too. The one that you're reading right now is the novella that's mm -hmm. technically number four, but I remember that the novella just kind of wraps things up a little bit more than it does in this book, but I still really like, I like this book a lot. Enough that I need to go back and read them all over again. I think my one criticism that I have, and it's more of just a personal thing, it probably won't bother anybody else, but I actually feel like the ending had a little too much deus ex machina going on. Uh, too, uh, too much of everything got wrapped up in a good way. In a war, it feels like somebody should not come out of that mm. other than the enemy and Everybody did. Everybody came out fine. Everything was great, right. in some people's opinion. And I feel like it could have, something could have gone sour there. Yeah. And it would have felt a little bit more satisfying, in my opinion. Take it where you will. So what did you rate this one? I would give it, a, I would give it four stars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think me too, as okay. well. Yes, okay. So yeah. thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.